Hello. Today I have a survivable trap that you can use on unwilling participants. Uh, it uses uh, sand and string. And I'll just show you that now. Yep. I yeah. So, um right. Let's uh let's build it so I can uh give you a proper demonstration. So okay. Uh ch -ch -ch -ch. right. So to do this in survival oh, actually I'll go in survival to this. You place down uh, bone meal until you get the whole section that you want to be um, the uh, trap with to be grass. You then bone meal the grass, make it tall. Uh, you then place sand on top of all of that grass. Then you place string on top of that. You then take out the grass, uh, the um, uh, the tall grass even. Or I just put myself in creative. I get some lava. Now, if I take out the grass, then I have to do two layers of lava. You could just make it a big drop and maybe have hoppers at the bottom and so you could retrieve uh, the player's stuff but you know just for the purpose of this demonstration I'll just do lava so two deep lava now when I go into survival when I walk on the string it updates and I fall to my death now um, let me show you something else. Um, if you oh, grass, I'm gonna need grass. If you build the trap and then don't put string on it, it's it doesn't update. So you can just have floating sand. Um, you know that could be useful for anything. I don't really know, but you could use it in another trap of some sorts. And, uh, yeah, that is how to get floating sand, and how to use a, uh, use it for a little trap, a little survivable trap. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time, and, uh, yeah, goodbye.